Alvin Ailey. I'm a choreographer. I'm a black man whose roots are in the sun and the dirt of the South. If you were dancing and you were African American, my God, did you have a lot to say? Because your, your story wasn't being told. We're really celebrating human beings. And we're trying to make an identification with the black past through dance. By having one of the first modern dance repertory companies, he made sure that many voices would be celebrated, not just dancers, but choreographers and collaborators. He knew what that truth was about, and he was unafraid to reveal it. Revelations, I think, forever will continue to take dancers into places that they didn't think they could journey to and take audiences with them. No matter what religion you are, race, color, creed, anything. You sit and you watch that ballet, and then you know what it's like to be human. Dance comes from the people and should always be delivered back to the people. That's what Mr. Ailey was all about. Mr. Ailey, he wanted us to come through not as cookie cutter dancers, but as individuals. If someone else might have a higher leg, a more accentuated foot, even a smaller waistline, but that doesn't negate what you can bring to the stage. Before I got in the company, I thought dance was just fun, and, and it is. But dancing, it really is hard work especially in this company. Since we have different choreographers, we have different styles and different genres that we have to uphold. Sing to the heavens. My new work entitled Lazarus is about the idea of the sort of spirit reincarnating itself into a different existence. It's more or less a reflection, I think, of Mr. Ailey's life. It's not fully, I wouldn't say, a biographical work or anything, but mostly more or less inspired by his experiences and the things that he saw or the things that he dealt with. There is this through line of somebody walking through, somebody not quite at rest, at peace you know, as he goes through this journey. And now it is embodied in the character in Lazarus that he sees as the Alvin Ailey character who's walking through. Mr. Ailey's history is very universal because of the era that he grew up in. Universal being of African American and the history, our history and experience here in the country. Part of that history of his story is my story regarding uh, racism and so he had to endure a lot a lot of discrimination and so I, I feel like that's my story. <laughs>